Hey everyone, Christian here, and I'm going to do a little uh, mini vlog here about what I call the palmetto blight. So this is a palmetto growing in the median in Venice. Um, I'm actually parked in the median. I'm inside my car, one, because of the noise, and two, because I don't really trust the drivers around here. I've seen so many people going the wrong way on the road. Uh, so I'm just kind of parked in the median, which people do all the time when they run out of parking space here. But... Um, so the palmetto blight is something that I first uh, saw firsthand about 10 years ago. It started around in northern Manatee, southern Hillsborough County, between, say, Ruskin and Ellen, or in Palmetto slash Ellington area. And they found palmettos just suddenly dying, turning completely brown, a lot like the way you'd see a, uh, a canary island date die from uh, Ganoderma or Fusarium wilt. And except for the, the, the fronds themselves did not wilt, they just turned brown. It almost looks like, I guess, lethal yellowing, but this happens so fast, and no, I'm not around close enough to notice to see what part of the plant dies first, but I'm guessing that the bottom leaves will die first. I've seen them kind of halfway dead, so I'm guessing that they're the, they die first, and then there's actually a little bit of green left in the crown of this palm. It might be hard to see in this photo, but um, the palmetto, as you can see next to it here, is uh, perfectly fine. And, uh, but it doesn't seem to be contagious to another plant nearby. Uh, Ganoderma would be something that would be, you know, contagious. So it's, I don't think it's a viral, I don't think it's, sorry, in the soil. Um, I don't think it's a fungal thing. And I think it, I don't, I think that, uh, University of Florida, uh, the IFAS extensions are like, they're currently doing research on how to combat it, but I'm not really sure there's much that can be done because probably 95% of palmettos are actually in habitat you know, not being, uh, not around, uh, the, you know, not, not, not around the coast. They're growing, you know, they're growing inland in woods and that sort of, you know, there's forests of them that we just don't see. We only see the, you know, the ones that are dotted around the landscape. So I don't know if it's 95%, but it's a, a lot of the vast majority of them. So, you know, if they're going to die, you're not going to be able to save them in time, uh, with it being a native species and everything. So, <clears throat> This might be a way, nature's way of kind of weeding out weaker plants. I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm just saying that this, that nature's been known to do that. And, uh, you know, I hope that we don't see telephone poles around. Um, you know, palmettos can take a, a, a lot of, quite a beating from many different elements. But <clears throat> if, you know, there's a viral issue going on, then, uh, you, know, you know, that's a serious problem. So it's something that, you know, almost all plants really can't recover from. So, I, but one thing that I have, <clears throat> excuse me, noticed about a lot of these plants that are dying is they tend to be a little bit smaller and weaker in size. Their crowns are smaller, their trunks tend to be a little bit thinner. Um, I'm not saying that they're all runts, but like I'm looking around and this palm is definitely the smallest palmetto around. So I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it. <clears throat> so this might be a case of survival of the fittest, I'm not really sure. But uh, it, is, it is a serious issue that really isn't addressed much or talked about much in the palm world because people think that, think that palmettos are, you know, they're so common that it doesn't matter if a million of them die because there's many more million. But, you know, th there are some unseen costs there, uh, both for the environment and financially. But <clears throat> I figured I'd let you guys, you know, see this firsthand. Um, I'll try and find, you know, more examples of this in the future. But this does, this is real and it does exist and it, it's unfortunate. Maybe it was, maybe this uh, disease or issue was introduced by, you know, exotic plants. It's, it's really kind of unsure. If I find any more info on it that uh, has come out, um, I will uh, leave it down below. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and put a notification, uh, click that notification button because I go live a lot, talk about plants. We have a little group chat. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions about this blight or palmettos in general, go ahead and leave it down below and I'll get back. I haven't gotten back to comments in the past few days. I've been out of town. Um, so I will get back to them as, uh, as soon as I get back to, uh, the Cape. But, uh, but thanks for leaving them. I haven't forgotten about you guys and, uh, I will talk to you guys next time and gals. Thanks for watching.